Are these clouds? Wait, wait, wait. Are these clouds? Oh, they are. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> I love it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wolf Wraith, and welcome to a little video of a game called Air Memories of Old. I think that's how I pronounce it. Firstly, I'd like to thank you for clicking on this video. I'm actually really excited to showcase this game because it looks like it's a, a it, it's likely to be a good little gem, and you can turn into a bird at will and fly. Obviously, I'm a sucker for games that just let you fly as a person, or even as an animal. Like planes is one thing, one thing, but oh shit, stuff's happening. Hum. <laughs> So I'm not going to read this stuff out loud. I usually prefer to let people read that to themselves. I, I feel like reading it out myself would kind of taint whatever voice you're likely to hear in your own head. Okay, all right. Islands in the sky, that's pretty cool. So her name is Ock. Ock or Ock? Shit, that's loud. So yeah, this is a game that was developed by a company called Forgotten Key. And it was published by Deodalic Entertainment. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, controls are smooth. That's nice. I'm getting a few frame rate drops. Is that is that something I need to be worried about? Ooh. So this game is basically a large open world. It's just basically a large open world game with mysteries, puzzles, and temples to discover. Oh, her jumping, she kind of hovers. How do I turn into a bird? Ah! What did I press? Okay. <laughs> Not, nothing to panic about. Oh wow, the pause button's on the diff on a different side. Interesting. The music is very tranquil. That's always a good thing with these these uh, minimalistic style games. I like when they have that that really calming sort of music. I can't double jump in this, can I? Should I explore down there? I don't know. Cause I don't have a I, I don't I don't feel like I have a way to get back up if I fall down. <sighs> oh yes I do! May as well, why not? Oh, because I can't I can't jump this. Okay. Well that makes sense. So yeah, this game is also meant to have like a strong focus on atmosphere and aesthetics. I can already see that that focus is coming through very early on in the game. So there's probably not likely to be- Ooh, shit, there's stuff to read? I didn't read the other one back there. So there's likely- it, You're not gonna get any, like, combat or anything in this. At least I didn't- I didn't read anything about that being a thing with this particular game. Okay. What happens if I stand on the candles? Will I- will I die? That'd be kind of funny. This really peaceful, tranquil game, and all of a sudden you just burn to death. That'd be really morbid. Abnormally morbid for this. The people of the sky, okay. So they had to evolve and learn how to fly? Is that what, what you're telling me? I think that's what they're telling me. Oh, okay, so I can go... I can get down there if I, I think. If I jump down. What's this thing? What is it? Can I touch it? Oh, is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that sound scared the crap out of me. Uh, I will admit that. I don't know why walking into leaves scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I don't know why I find that amusing. Ooh. 
Interesting. So there's a decent amount of detail, I guess. Not not a great amount. But it's not really what I'd expect out of a, a game as minimalistic as this. And that's kind of something I like. The, the art style looks good. I, I don't mind these minimalistic type of games as long as they're not strictly walking simulators. What? Oh, she just, she hovered there for a second. I think that might have been a bug or something. Or maybe I just jumped at the wrong time. Ooh. Oh my god. This game is pretty gorgeous. For the art style that it has. Oh, I think they did really well with that. That looks nice. Whoa. What's happening here? What's she doing? Is she praying? Ah. She's gonna inject herself with this yellowy drug that will allow her to fly. Interesting. Oh, it's a lantern. <laughs> I legitimately thought it was some sort of syringe. I don't know why. I just did. Oh, crap. What is that? Lantern. Oh! Whoa! Oh, so they were, they were once people. What happened to them? Do I have to... I, I'm not too sure if it's if it's doing that because I have to get out of here fast or, or what. Holy crap, what's happening? This is This is off to a really damn good start. Oh, wait, did I just miss that jump? Uh, I think I was meant to. I didn't expect this. I expected the game to be a hell of a lot more peaceful than what it is right now. This is all very loud for me. As, as some of you might know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'd like to have the audio up nice and loud. Oh, what? Am I? Is, I? When you say, oh, the young pilgrim, is that me? I'm going to keep it out in case I find some more of these ghost people. Oh my god. How do I... Can I fly yet? I can't. So LB and RB is to, to spin the camera back around. That's nice. Uh, I'm genuinely worried right now because I don't know whether the... the the, what's it called? The rocks are going to hurt me. Ooh, light at the end of the tunnel. Escape the collapsing cave. Ooh. Oh, hello there, old, mm. old man. Car is light. Gosh, I'm not too sure whether I want to, when jumping, transform. Oh my god! Yes! This is amazing! Oh wow, the controls! Wow, this actually controls a hell of a lot better than I expected. The music is really nice in this part as well. Oh wow, you can go fast! Go dive and bring it up. Oh man, this is really good. I paid about 23 Aussie dollars for this game, or 22 dollars and something cents. I think th this will be worth it alone. I I I've heard that it's a very short game. But I've seen people have clocked like 5 hours or so, so I don't know what that, that means. Oh man, I could just do this. 
like non-stop. There's a bit of stuttering though. I I'm not sure if that should be cause for concern. I mean, I'd expect, given that it's a pretty large-scale open-world game, it'd be a lot beefier than I expected. Oh my god, how many islands? This is amazing! <laughs> I love it! Are these clouds? Wait, wait, wait. Are these clouds? Oh, they are! <laughs> yeah, that's so cool! <laughs> I love it! I don't know if I can do any other tricks though. Can I do a loop? Can I do a loop? Come on, let me do a loop. Oh, wow! It can sort of just glide. Oh, that is really good. Oh, wow. I think uh, Forgotten Key have done really well with this. And I've barely even scraped the tip of the iceberg. In this case. Ooh, what's this down here? What happens if I touch water? Oh, nothing. Okay, I thought it was... I just expected it to be deeper. Now, if I push Y... Oh, no. There's no... There's no... Um, it doesn't tell me where I'm meant to go. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what have I done? So I want to head, I want to head southeast. So this way. What happens if I touch the ground? Oh, you can't. It doesn't let you land as a bird. I like that you. That it doesn't just let you spam X. Like you have to press it every now and then. I think I'm lost. Oh man, this is this is mesmerizing. Like I, I'm just tempted to to sort of just keep quiet and just play it, but then I just have to edit out the footage, so that won't do anyone any good. Okay, so hang on. If I go, okay, so this is where I started off. Now let's actually stop messing around and have a bit of a look around. See, that's trippy. That's like... I'm getting a lot of... Oh, these are tombstones. Is that what they are? Oh, are these like people that went on a pilgrimage and just died? Like they just... I don't know. They randomly fell over or something? I'm, I'm sensitive like that. Oh, shit! Whoa! I did not mean to do that. That was kind of cool. So what's this thing? Oh, birdies. What happens if I don't flap? Okay, she just hovers. That's okay. The music is seamless, too. That's really nice. Oh, shit! You can crash into the kites. That's not good. Oh, it's very quick to switch over. Oh yeah, you can kind of hover. And you don't take fall damage, that's cool. Wow, there's people here! Hello there! Okay, interesting. Uh, look, I think I'm actually going to end this particular video here. Can I jump in the well? Oh my god, you get an achievement for jumping in the well. Step into the well. 
Oh my god, this is game of the year. Sorry, Assassin's Creed Origins, but this is <laughs> this is game of the year. Can I go in here? I can't. No longer game of the year. Sorry, you just ruined it. Uh, can I can I burn to death at the very least? No. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Although, although I'm joking around, I kind of expected that. But yeah, this is a very lovely game. I'm, I'm probably going to enjoy playing this a fair bit, just exploring around. I've seen, like I said, I've seen that people have clocked like five hours or more, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to enjoy it just as much. I would like to thank Forgotten Key in advance for this lovely game. I'm glad I stumbled on it. I really, really am. Because I I think that this is definitely a little gem that a lot of people should really f take a look at. I mean, it might not be your thing, but if you like the idea of just being able to fly around an open world and, you know, you've got this really nice looking map or environment, I should say. It's got nice music, it's got good visuals, then I think you'd like this game. I'm liking it a fair bit. And I'm the kind of person who prefers games like GTA, Red Dead Redemption, The Witcher 3, Assassin's Creed Origins. But this is definitely... This is something. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm looking forward to playing it. I'm probably not going to make this into a Let's Play. Because I feel like it would taint it. I'm not sure... I'm not too sure if the, the game will change all that much from here. Oh wow. This is like a little field I can explore. But yeah, anyways. Once again, thank you to Forgotten Key. This is a really good game. I'm glad. I'm glad I grabbed it. No regrets. <laughs> I'm only. This is the first time I'm playing it. I'm less than 20 minutes in, and I don't even regret it. And thank you to each and every one of you who have watched this. If you like the game, please let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me to helps me get an idea of what I should and shouldn't show showcase. Hang on, you can chase the sheep. Yes. Game of the year. <laughs> this is the best. Oh, can I run it off a cliff? Can I run it? Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, that would have been too too morbid, too cruel. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Oh, what? I can fly with birds. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. This this is good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you grabbed the game yourself. And even if you don't think you'll grab it, at least check out the links in the description. I'll have more information on the game. If you know any people, any friends, family that you think will like this game, share the link with them. Share the video with them. Sh share just the, the GOG link. Whatever. Uh, I think it would help these developers out. Which is what this channel is kind of about. And yeah. As usual, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video.